Travel on today with Sligo County Council, Sligo Chamber of Commerce and the Sligo Park Hotel. Welcome back to the show. Now this week we are off to the Wild Atlantic Way and featuring a county that is steeped in culture and history. Yeah, Michelle Jackson is here. Michelle, how are you keeping? I'm good, thank you guys. Listen, just take us away for the next few minutes. We oh, love this okay. part of the week. We just sit back a little. Yeah. <gasps> okay, well we're heading off to, to Sligo, which of yeah. course is called Yates Country for very good reason. Mm -hmm. uh, W.B. Yates is the poet who loved the county so mm -hmm. much and this November marks the 100th anniversary of his being awarded the fabulous accolade of the Nobel Prize for Literature, mm -hmm. who's the first mm -hmm. Irish person to do this oh. and really if you really want to immerse yourself in the history you know go to Sligo you've got that fantastic statue in the middle of mm -hmm. the town mm -hmm. you know you remember him and you've got him um, you've got the Yates Society which is also absolutely remarkable uh, there's a three-day celebration going on mm -hmm. and that's at the end of the month and um, Paul Mundoon will be featuring mm -hmm. and Katrina Yates who is actually mm -hmm. Yates's granddaughter mm -hmm. and you know you you can learn all about the poet. Mm -hmm. Susan O'Keefe is a remarkable woman. She is mm -hmm. the, the director of, of the um, mm -hmm. of the centre. There's the lovely statue there. Oh, mm. yeah, so absolutely. nice, isn't it? <laughs> and the Yates Society is just there on the corner. Now, I was there in the summer and Susan showed me around mm -hmm. artefacts that you know were owned by family members. Mm -hmm. They showed me first edition publications. Mm -hmm. And you know you can really be immersed in, 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 the, in the history. Mm -hmm. um, also, I, I wouldn't visit Sligo without going to Drumleck. Mm -hmm. church because that is wh where his remains are yeah. under the yeah. shadow of Ben Bulban and this year there's a remarkable Yates Trail which has been designed by the County Council again and where you can visit 14 specific locations mm -hmm. and you can read poetry at these sites they're artistic installations mm -hmm. and you can actually you know, live and breathe the place. Literally where immerse Yates yourself was. in. Yeah, yeah exactly. You, you can see why you drew, drew so mm. much inspiration from there, Michelle. Can't yeah. you? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's so remarkable. Mm -hmm. And and his grandmother was was a big part of it. His mother, mm -hmm. Susan Polexfin, and you know, the, the history is just it's all there. Mm -hmm. Speaking of history, are there other historic sites and oh, places well, that you tell people you have to go and visit? It's a world class place to visit all year round. And I think one of the most remarkable ones is in Knocknarree, and mm -hmm. that is where um, you. Got it's overlooking beautiful Sligo Bay, mm -hmm. and yeah. it's where Queen Maeve was reportedly buried. Oh. Now, she oh. was an Iron Age queen, but not just Queen Maeve, we've also got Caramore, which is a remarkable megalithic site. It's older than the, the pyramids, you know, it's absolutely those, those, those beautiful. Those it's the leaving years ago, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was in junior, and the, and, and the art course, yeah. yeah, absolutely. And you know, tentatively, they're being turned into a UNESCO World Heritage Site, hopefully, this year. But you've got fantastic things to do with the sea. Mm -hmm. You know, the largest wave was reported there in 2014 so it's a fantastic place to go for surfers. I took a swim there myself during the summer would you believe oh, it? Oh you must have been on one of the yeah. three da or one yeah, of those. It was really really nice. Oh. Have your dry robe at I, the ready. I had my posh dry robe <laughs> in the boot of the car. Well you know we just saw a bit of the golf courses there mm. and at Enniscrone they have one of the most remarkable golf links yes. and I, when I was there mm. Bill Murray was over filming oh. and he was <gasps> so, so it's I remember you know, that during yeah, the summer there's pictures of him everywhere. Absolutely yeah yeah that's no, absolutely stunning there but there's so much to do. Mm -hmm. um, to do, you know. mm -hmm. and loads of fantastic places to stay. Oh, well, loads of fantastic. Well, when I was, there, I stayed in the Sligo Park Hotel, mm -hmm. which is just just outside the centre mm -hmm. of the town. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I was thinking for Christmas breaks or for you know, you know, when, when school is mm -hmm. out, it's mm -hmm. brilliant because they have that fantastic leisure centre with the bouncy castle in the water Stop, and, a, the and a fairy trail. Oh, you're a little one would love it. The I'm just like, where the bounce? That's what I want to do. <laughs> absolutely. There's so many activities, and you know, the whole hotel has just undergone a five million euro refurbishment so all the rooms are really beautiful they're top notch it's not mm. too far away from everywhere mm. easy, easy, you know really in the mm -hmm. top half of the country and uh, they're doing remarkable packages actually for Christmas if you don't want to you know be, be cooking mm -hmm. the turkey and you want to have a little bit of a break there's a uh, there's a three night stay and there is also Twixmas family breaks mm -hmm. and a then Twixmas. for New Year what Twixmas does that you know, mean? you know the lull oh in the between. in between yeah, of course between of time, yeah and then in New Year's there's a two there's a two night um, for New Year's package and mm. actually if you want to know about those prices they're on the the Facebook uh, the Today lovely. Facebook page and you get all, all those details mm -hmm. there Perfect. but it's, it's a lovely hotel to stay in and hiking 
We oh, can't not I, talk about Sligo oh, look, and not mention hiking. Well, well, this is another great initiative, Sligo Walks. Mm. And 50 of the best walks have been brought together and they're dotted all along the Wild Atlantic Way. Mm. And th this is another initiative from the Sligo County Council. And for all outdoor enthusiasts, young and old, you, you, you can learn about places to stop off on your walk. Maybe mm -hmm. you want to go and see a pottery, mm -hmm. pottery centre. Maybe, you know, you want to go into the forests. Maybe you want mm. to go coastal. So it, it's, it's really, it's a great thing for you to navigate depending on your own ability, whether mm -hmm. you want a more challenging hike or whether you want to have a little genteel, you know. We go with the genteel one. <laughs> yes, the genteel one seems me a lot yeah, as well. Yeah. Or just but sitting yeah. down and enjoying well, the places that I could do. people are kind of promoting them, like Mona McSharry, who's the Olympic swimmer, the Irish oh, Olympic yeah. swimmer. She's mm -hmm. reporting the lovely Ben Bulban walk, which is through the forests. Mm -hmm. And um, our old friend Tommy Fleming as oh. well is, is, is promoting a gorgeous coastal walk. Tommy it's no called way. the Ochrish um, oh, yeah. walk. Yeah. Yes. You explained that to me earlier, Ochrish means... Well, I think, I think uh, an Ochr would, would be one of the old words for horse. So oh. there some kind of uh, horse related maybe, stories maybe from the Could in the have day, been, yeah. yeah. Could have been. So, so Tommy was out doing that one, wasn't he? He was. Well, the Delilah, well, see, the Wild Atlantic Way is full of folklore and legends. Yeah. Mm. And this is why it appealed to William Butler Yeats so mm. much. And this is why, you know, he, it was such, it nurtured his creativity mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. such a great Tommy way. Tommy didn't sing know. a song for you, did he? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not in Sligo. I didn't see him in Sligo. I should, should go back. <laughs> <laughs> I should, if uh, you could, why not? Uh, yeah, oh, absolutely. No, because it, it is just so stunning, you know, yeah. uh, when you've got all that. And now, um, if you went, if you wanted to pop over and you didn't want to be kind of all out surfing mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. hiking and that, why not do a little bit of shopping? Because um, this year, not only is Yates a uh, hundred, a hundred <laughs> don't years say old, anything else, Michelle, but, but, we're but, done. but, but the, the, the Sligo Chamber of Commerce is celebrating a hundred years and they mm. have their very own gift card mm. and that's been going on for the last five years. And you can use it in 80 retailers all, all across the town. You've got, um, you know, large businesses like your Boots and your Eason's and then you've got mm -hmm. chemists, you've got the Liber bookshop. You can use it for um, supporting uh, vo Voya beautiful seaweed mm -hmm. baths mm -hmm. or you, you know there's lots happening there there's in, a in lot the going on there's a lot there. you can do yeah. and you've got Lockheel Distillery of course if you want to go and visit and see where the whiskey is made oh, and that's a great to... development <laughs> that's going the on there, you know? now, there I am stuffing my face in Yalla Bon restaurant what are you eating there is, oh that looks very nice oh that was dessert like and there was brownie chocolate. or something but, you know, I have to say the, 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 each dish was like a, a separate work of art and you're in the surroundings surrounded by Yeats poetry on the walls mm -hmm. and you, it's called Yalabon the restaurant and there's a, a, a flying geese of course the wild swans are cool course, um, yeah. there, to mark Yeats and um, it used to immerse yourself in a lovely experience there. there's lots of other lovely restaurants you can spend your money in as well with that yeah. gift card you've got um, the gourmet parlour and Anderson's Grill yeah. um, there's lots happening there's an awful lot of places to go into yeah. it's, it's such a great town and the centre of the town yeah. itself is beautiful it, isn't it it is so beautiful yeah. with that, that kind of, you know, the water the weir Going through, and yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't been to Slack I go in a long, long time now, but That's you're, you're selling me. I was working there for the past, uh, last summer and the summer before, mm. and you know, I, I gave an extra couple of days up around there for myself. Yeah. It just takes yes. some time, bit of yeah. self care. Oh, but it's dead it right. has to be done. Absolutely, <laughs> and the Thanks, beaches, Michelle. the beach, those lovely street oh, and beaches. And Strand Hill has a brand new surf centre as oh. well. Oh, oh there you go. No, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, just, surf just for surfing. I'm yeah, not very so. good, but I love it. <laughs> uh, Michelle, thank you so much. Thanks, and guys. If you at home need any more info on Michelle's autumnal Irish breaks, you can check out our social pages Instagram and Facebook at RT Today. Travel on today with Sligo County Council, Sligo Chamber of Commerce and the Sligo Park Hotel.